when we borrow, eh, we have to use part of it to pay, cover the recurrent expenditure that I mentioned, those items. Because if they take 107% of your revenue, you don't have enough revenue even to cover that. So when you borrow, part of it must go to cover that before you spend the rest on goods and services and then capital expenditure. Clearly, from the, the discussion I've done, you will see that we, 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 need, we need to curtail our, our recurrent expenditure mm? and free resources for capital expenditure because that is what we need for long-term growth. Okay? Now, the curtailment of uh, recurrent expenditure should target especially compensation. And for the loans, we have borrowed them, we have to repay. I'm going to speak about how you bring your loan, your debt profile you know, down so that you bring the debt service also down over the years. But the first target should be uh, compensation. And I don't think that the issue here is about civil servants or public servants being overpaid. I don't think that's the issue. It is just because, that, because the public sector is too large. You know, so I'm not going to argue that public servants, public you know, servants, their pay should be cut. Because I don't think they, they even get enough. But the sector is over bloated. Um, so we need some kind of downsizing of that public sector. And people have talked about this thing. Everybody is saying it. You know, government size, government machinery is too big. Because that is where I'm sure that if we are going to do the disaggregation, we don't have all the data. Otherwise, I'll ask my research assistant to do the compensation, disaggregate it, and let's see how much goes to, you know, the ministers, government, government machinery how much goes to civil servants, and so on. We, we should do that kind of, and then Article 71, office holders, and, and so on. Um, so, now. <laughs>